Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We are here in The Hague in the Netherlands at the SDN and NFV World Congress 2017. I'm talking with Shahar Steif, who is AVP New Technology at PCCW Global. Morning. Morning, Shah. Good to see you again. Thank you. We've been talking about photography off camera. So photography, weather, whatever. Well, now we're going to talk about technology. Shah, it's five years since the first NFE white paper was released, and some people have said it seems to be NFE is taking longer to mature than was originally thought. Others say no, no, it's usually a ten-year thing for a, a decade in in telecoms is the usual period over which development takes place or about halfway through it. We can debate that, but I'd like to ask you first, um, in your view, where are we in terms of the viability of the technology itself and the adoption by CSPs? I think NFV is a mixed bag. Uh, first, let's remember NFV is, is the, the means, not the, not the goal. Uh, it's, a means to, it's a means to a goal. And the goal is automation. We actually, what we actually want to do is automate services and, and, and NFV is a technology that will help us get there. Uh, it has met that goal in some aspects or in, 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 some, in some VNF types and has failed miserably in others. So if we take like a virtual switch for example, that's a success, switches actually perform, perform well, but if you take virtual routers, their performance uh, leaves room for improvement. <laughs> I'll try to be polite, right? So, so we would probably still continue buying uh, real routers at least for, for a while until DNFs, if any, if, if at all, will, 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 will uh, meet our performance targets. Um, the other thing we need to keep in mind is that the definition of VNF might vary from, from place to place or from person to person. Uh, there probably isn't one clear definition in the market in the industry of what VNFs are. Okay, thank you. So, is there anything we can do as an industry to speed things up? That's an interesting question because, uh, again, depends who you ask. If you ask me, I think the best way to speed things up would be to spend more time on writing the standards upon which VNFs perform and act rather than just develop new VNFs, new ideas that do not follow any standard, and then it's, it, it, becomes, it becomes difficult to put them, to put them into work in, in a hybrid system. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a standards guy, you know, uh, and, and I, I keep saying that if we, if we do not have a standard to follow, then we just diverge in, in multiple directions, and it's difficult to put things together into, into a coherent, cohesive, uh, 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 solution. Uh, and I think VNFs follow, follow the same rule. Um, the fact is we have multiple vendors producing NFV gear, which by itself is sort of a contradiction in terms because it is supposed to be white labeled. So why do vendors produce white label devices? And then the vendors also adjust the VNFs to run on their NFV gear. And then again, you need to adjust the VNF to the NFV gear, so it's not really transparent, and you typically cannot just migrate a VNF from one piece of gear to another piece of gear. You need to onboard it, um, which means we are in an environment that has a lot of proprietary solutions uh, and, and lacks standardization that will really drive things forward. So um, what can we do as an industry? is I think speed up and spend more time on developing standards for VNFs uh, rather than trying to solve uh, problems as they, as they occur, try to plan ahead. And, and I think the real planning ahead is, uh, is what's going to uh, uh, push us forward rather than just adapting, uh, adapting you know, uh, or I would say ch chasing short-term goals one after the other. Thank you. Now, Ultimately, this transformation journey is about CSPs, being able to deliver a better customer experience, who are, in the end, the people who will be paying for this. So, how are SDN and NFV going to help you gain the best possible insight into the current and future needs of customers? Insight might not be uh, the, the right term here. I think, uh, as I said earlier, SDN and NFV are means to a goal and the goal is automation. The customer's ex customer experience comes from being able uh, to enjoy automatic services. 
meaning uh, either getting existing services faster and, and on demand instead of having to pay for them, uh, like a fixed fee, fixed monthly fee, and, and having them unused most of the, most of the month. Uh, going on towards uh, services that are activated the moment you, you, you turn, turn up an app, for example. Uh, think of uh, a Skype call that is currently based on public internet and, and ha has an unpredictable, unpredictable uh, performance. And think of a network that can, be, can react uh, um, to Skype and then the moment it sees a Skype call going, going in, it will, it, will, um, um, uh, it will create a managed service, a managed end-to-end -end service. Now this cannot happen with, with, with current uh, equipment and with current uh, method, method, methods, methodology. You need to have SDN and NFV or let's say com computer-enabled systems that, that can react in real time uh, to, the, uh, to the network resources, and not only the network, also, also the compute and, 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 and other resources uh, that are out there in order to be able to deliver the services that customers want to see, uh, uh, which basically event end up in, in a better customer experience. Of course, this industry is always looking to the next thing. So NFV was the next thing, is now becoming the next thing. And now we're beginning to hear a lot about AI, machine learning, uh, automation, as you mentioned several times. What do these mean in the context of network transformation and how important do you think they're going to be? It's a natural uh, evolution. Uh, and AI basically means uh, trying, to learn, try, trying to learn from what's happening, what is going to be next. And, and uh, uh, trying to predict the next step uh, based, on, based on, on, on existing behavior. Now, I'm not talking about looking at the, at the far future. It's thing, uh, a thing as simple as uh, being able to know that every Sunday at noon there is a peak in traffic. Why? Because all corporates, uh, uh, I mean, you don't even need to know why. It could be because all corporates do, do, their, do their weekly backup on Sunday noon. Um, but it could also be uh, another reason. But AI allows you to simply identify the trend and get the resources ready to address that peak in traffic on Sunday noon. Uh, and uh, I mean, this is just an example. Uh, yeah. There are other examples where, where you can learn from experience, learn from what, what is happening now, and expect to see what, what happens next. And you can trigger events based on, on, on previous events. Um, you, can, you can see a, a mass of people moving from place to place by following their, their mobile signal, for example, and then you can, you can alert the taxi station to, to, get, to get more, more taxis in place to be able to carry all those people, like the end of a football match, right? So if, if you're able to track the location of people and you're able to see them all moving from the stadium to the parking lot, you can expect a long queue at the taxi station. And then if your AI is smart enough, it can then, the moment, the moment it detect, detects the movement, it can send a signal to the taxi station and say, you know, bring more taxis. Uh, that's that sort of thing. So uh, obviously, I'm taking day-to-day -day examples, but the same applies to telecom as well. Uh, you can you can expect um, an increased need for connectivity, or an increased need for storage, or an increased need for compute or, or security uh, based on based on, on on events that happen. So Shaha, what surprised you the most on the five-year journey of NFV so far? Uh, probably the lack of focus, I would say. Uh, lack of focus uh, is, is, is a big surprise. I was expecting this, the industry uh, uh, to focus on, on real solutions and not, not just chasing its own tail uh, time after time. If you could borrow the telecom TV time machine, which we keep in a cupboard in our office, uh, and change one thing over the last five years, what, where would you go and what would it be? I would probably uh, spend more time in developing standards related to SDN and NFV rather than developing uh, open source and de developing the real solutions. I think uh, s open source solutions can only be as good as the standard they, they, they represent. And if there's no standard behind them, we're just creating, we are just creating lots of different solutions uh, that do not really match each other. It's like creating a puzzle uh, with pieces that, do, that, that do not match. Uh, you know, you, you can generally see the picture you want to see, 
but you're unable to, to, to create it because the pieces just, just don't match. You, you have the vision of what you want to happen, but since you didn't make any planning and you, did, you, did, you didn't make sure that the pieces can, can match each other, they're just pieces. Sure. And, and, and they just do not come into a big picture that, that can really work end to end. Last one, then look, now look forward five years. So we have the 10 year cycle as it were. What's your prediction for the next five years? Where are SDN and NFE going to be? Um, I, you know, prophecy is for fools. So I don't want to be a prophet. I don't want, I don't want to see where I think things will be. I'll say where I hope things will be. So aspirations are, are, are better, better than predictions. My aspiration is that the industry will understand that we need to work together and develop, uh, develop pieces that match each other and develop the interfaces between, piece, between pieces, between devices, between entities. Um, and, and NFV will be effective it, if, it can, if it can physically and, and um, operationally interface with its surroundings. Um, so it, it's just a piece in the puzzle. It's typically the, 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 the VNF is, is, is the, the piece that touches the bare metals, the, the actual network infrastructure, be that connectivity or, or, or CPU or storage. Uh, it needs to interface with its surrounding, with, with, with other devices around it, and it needs to interface with the control software, or with the, with the control uh, platform that controls it. Uh, if you're able to orchestrate all that, then, then I think uh, we've reached our goal of, of automation and better customer experience. Um, so this is an aspiration. Uh, are we going to be there? Are we going to get there? That is another question, but I guess uh, let's meet in five years and <laughs> see, where, <laughs> see where, where we are. We were talking off camera, yep. Shaha, about, about the, 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 the fact that originally NFV was predicated on the notion of saving on costs. And you have right. some fairly trenchant views about that. And we think we should bring that in. Well, obviously, you know, uh, cost saving is a nice exercise, but you don't get rich by saving money. You get rich by making money. So if SDN and NFV through automation, or I would rather say automation through the use of SDN and NFV, can help us yield more revenue out of our existing infrastructure and our future infrastructure, then we will become rich. Uh, if we just save cost, then, uh, well, we're not, I mean, it wouldn't, I mean, yeah, obviously, it, it would have a, a positive impact on our, on, our, on, our, on our balance, but that's not where the real money is. The real money is by making more money, by making more revenue, by increased revenue from infrastructure, uh, be that physical or virtual. Uh, so, um, my view is that uh, the, 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 real, the real use case for automation isn't cost saving, the real use case is increased revenue. Shahar Steif. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.